Okay, I'm going to show you how to make marble paper using things that you probably have at home. So what we'll need is some shaving cream, food coloring, um, a butter knife, or you could even use, I suppose you can use toothpicks, forks, stuff like, um, I'll show you what you do with it and you can kind of see what you want to use. And then I have a rubber scraper for um, the very final part of it. So what I'm going to do is I've got a cutting board that you can use really whatever type of um, non-absorbent surface you would like, okay? Um, you could use a cookie sheet, a pie pan, um, uh, um, a brownie pan. You could use a disposable one or a reusable one. That doesn't really matter. You just want to make sure that um, it's not going to absorb. Okay, um, this is just what is usually um, traditionally men's shaving cream. Um, if you have a, wom a woman's version of shaving cream that has other s extra stuff in it um, and is a different color, I don't know how well it will work. Um, I've never tried it, but um, this works pretty good. Make sure you ask before you take dad's shaving cream or mom's shaving cream or brother's or whoever, um, just so that way they know that you're having it, that you're using it, okay? So, I'm going to squirt, after I've shaken it up, I'm going to squirt some shaving cream, okay? Um, you don't need a lot, a lot, a lot, and then I'm just going to kind of sh smush it around, okay? Um, I don't want a super thin layer, I want kind of a thicker layer, okay? Um, I did this once before, and I was actually able to get... Um, quite a few um, pieces of marble paper out of one use of shaving cream, okay? So I want kind of a thicker layer. I'm using my scraper here to scrape my fingers off, okay? Just because I want to be able to use as much of it as I can. Shaving cream is just soap. So if you are at home and you've got a little brother or a little sister or a cousin or you're babysitting and you're like, oh my goodness, these children are driving me nuts. Shaving cream is an awesome thing to um, put on like a tabletop for them, um, like just like this, because they can write in it, they can draw in it, they can have all sorts of fun. I'm going to go wa wash my hand off real quick. And um, not only do they have fun playing in the shaving cream, um, it's soap, so I mean, obviously they want to put it in their mouth, but it also kind of helps to clean as well. So I'm going to get my food coloring. Food coloring usually comes with just like four colors, although you can have a variety of colors. Um, I'm just going to pick a couple. Um, you can use all four colors if you want. You can use just one. Um, I would just say um, be um, careful with um, how much you use just for the part after this um, just because it can look kind of muddy yucky if you use too much okay so marble paper is really fun and it looks really cool when it's all done um, and traditionally it is made with water and oil paint and the oil paint floats on the top of the water and then um, that helps make this marble look and there's like actually like specific like ways to drop the paint on it and to swirl it around and get like specific types of marbling. Um, it's really kind of cool if somebody really knows what they're doing but um, this is just kind of fun as well. So I'm going to take my butter knife and I'm just going to very gently drag my butter knife through the um through the food coloring okay see this is where if i have a whole lot of colors if i'm not careful it can get really muddy and yucky looking okay so you'll want to kind of tread lightly and just kind of in my opinion, less is a little is more than too much. 
Um, but I'm going to take and also kind of squish this over here off to the side to get rid of that. And then I think I'm going to go one last time, go the opposite way, kind of drag it through. Um, it, you can see it's kind of pulling very gently um, the colors and kind of giving that fun swirly look. Okay, so I'm going to leave it like that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my paper. I'm just using some multi-purpose drawing paper that I got a long time ago. I'm going to put it on top of the shaving foam or cream. And I'm going to very gently pat the paper into the shaving cream. Okay, I'm not squishing it down so it's like flat, 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 because I don't want to take all of the shaving cream, but I just want to take kind of like that first layer, I guess you would say. So it's just real gently, and I can see it, and I can kind of see it on my computer screen. I can see where the ink has kind of, the food coloring has kind of stuck. So now I'm going to pull it off, and doesn't that look cool? Now just wait a minute, there's one more step, which is where it really starts to look cool. Okay, I need to um, kind of get rid of my cutting board and shaving cream. I'm not done, I can use this again, so don't worry, don't be like, oh wow, look at all that waste. It's not wasted. Okay. So if you have notebook paper, you can do this on notebook paper. Um, you could probably do it on newspaper. You would just want to be careful. This is a thinner paper. So now I'm going to scrape off the shaving cream. Isn't that cool? I'm coming over here. I'm just kind of using my butter knife to scrape off the shaving cream off of my rubber scraper here. And scrape. Okay, so you can use these to make cards. You can use these to make, um, I've seen people take um, envelopes and they've used like um, blue painter's tape or washi tape and um, they've taped off different parts of it and they've kind of marbled one part of it just to kind of give it a little bit of something something. Okay, so here's one now. I, like I said, remember, I'm not done. I can still use this again. It's not all wasted, okay? So now I'm not going to put any more um, food coloring on it. So now I'm going to go back and I'm going to re swirl. Okay, kind of mix it up. Okay, here's where it can get really kind of messy and yucky if I'm not careful. Okay, so I don't want to do too, too much. All right, but I do want to kind of mix it back up. Okay, I'm going to take my paper again. Um, you know what, actually, I think I'm going to cut this in half. I'm just going to fold it. Use my fingernails to kind of really make a crisp fold. I don't have my scissors right here. Okay, I'm just gonna fold it back and forth, back and forth a couple times. Okay, because I want to be able to tear my paper. Okay, so now I have a smaller piece of paper. I'm going to set it right in the middle, and I'm going to gently, 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 gently get the shaving cream or foam onto my piece of paper. Now, because this is smaller, I've got shaving 
cream kind of all over this piece of paper. So it's a little bit trickier to get up, but you know, it's food coloring. It's not going to hurt you. Yes, if you have white on, it will stay in your clothes. That looks kind of cool, but it's not going to stay that way. Let's see what it looks like when I scrape the, um, the shaving cream off. Just a second here, I'm trying to get all my stuff situated. Gonna make this disappear for a moment. Got my scraper. Hold on to the corner. Oh, isn't that cool? Scrape it off. So, what can I do with this besides the fact that it looks cool? Okay, so, um, you can make a card, you can make an envelope, you can just make a really cool piece of paper. Um, once, it's not like super wet, but it does have kind of, it is a little wet from the shaving cream. Um, so you'd want to let it dry, but you could glue it onto something else, you could collage with it. You could do all sorts of things with it. Now remember, I told you, it's still not done. We still have more shaving cream, okay? So if you put out a whole lot, hopefully you have lots of paper, so you're not wasting any of this, okay? Now I know I bought shaving cream at Dollar, at Dollar General here in town for like a buck. I'm not really wasting any of it if I just wash this down the drain. But if you know that um, Dad is really nice and that you um, have some of this shaving cream, and make sure you don't throw a whole bunch of it away. Okay, so I'm going to like this. Okay, um, food coloring isn't that horribly expensive, but um, it comes in a variety of colors, and you don't have to use a lot of colors. You could just use one. I just was like, yeah, I got it, so might as well use it. Okay, so I'm going to take that other piece of paper. I'm going to plop. Okay, now, okay, the food coloring will stain your fingers. So if you got, like, uber, uber messy, I know that some of you, at least those of you that are in my class frequently, I know some of you are rather messy. So, make sure that you are careful. Um, I have dishwashing gloves. I probably could have put those on, but eh. You guys know me. I've had multicolored finger nails and stuff like that before from projects. Okay, so here I kind of missed a spot. You can see there's no shaving cream. Um, that was because it was kind of farther down. Um, hmm. I wonder what would happen if I go like this. I don't know. We'll find out. You'll find out with me. It'll be an experiment. Shoom. There's a little spot over here too where I'm holding on, but there's no one. Let's see what happens if I come over here. I don't know. We'll find out. You want to find out? Well, hopefully you haven't shut me off yet, and you can find out. Let's see here. All right. Let's see what happens. Ooh. I'm liking that so far. You know what? It doesn't really, I don't even really notice that I went back and added anything. Like that's, that's cool. Okay. And I mean, I could probably still, if I had small pieces of paper, make up more marble paper. Okay. So I've made a lot of marble paper, but um, <laughs> we'll bring them back out so you can see them a little bit here. But this is really fun. You can collage them together. You can make card like this one's a bigger one so I could let it dry like it's not super wet but it's just kind of wet from that shaving cream um so I could fold it over and make a card mail it to my grandma in fact you know what I might just do that who knows okay but it's really fun and there are endless possibilities and they look really cool when you're all done so why don't you try making some marble paper